Welcome back to Creating Cooperative Kids. I'm your host, Bill Corbett. Domestic violence is a crime involving a pattern of abusive behavior in intimate relationships where one partner tries to control and dominate the other. The behavior may be physically, sexually, psychologically, or verbally abusive, with the victim left feeling scarred, confused, dependent, and insecure. But there are organizations out there that are dedicated to assisting families and individuals who have experienced domestic and interpersonal violence and advocates for safer communities. With me on the show today is Annalisa Deal from the Network Against Domestic Abuse. Also, we have with us uh, two students from Enfield High School, uh, Charnay Ruffin and Jamie Green, who both worked on a project that was started by the Network Against Domestic Abuse. Now, as I understand it, we are, as we, as in the network, is charged with coming up with ways of creating more awareness for this problem so that it's not brushed under the rug, so that we know it exists, and so that people, um, victims, can feel comfortable to come forward and ask for help. So your organization, Annalisa, uh, issued a command, and you personally worked on leading this effort, and you issued a command to area schools here in Connecticut to try to generate some interest with the youth to see what they would do with it. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you did? Yeah, sure. We came up with a project to try and engage the youth in coming up with their own teen dating violence awareness campaigns. We figured it would be a good way for them to get involved because then they'll have more of a passion towards the issue and more involvement in what they're doing and pe teenagers are probably more likely to listen to other teenagers about what's going on than maybe if we went in and did a presentation ourselves. So we thought it would also give them an opportunity to be creative and do different things that maybe we wouldn't have thought of either. So you issued the challenge to the area schools and a lot of schools took you up on it and it was designed to see what you can do with this in your own terms, in your own ideas. And uh, you held it like as a contest. Mm -hmm. And I know because I was on the uh, committee that got mm -hmm. to pick and choose. And this group from Enfield High came out as the winner because uh, I know that when we were examining the projects, it was the energy, the creativity, the, uh, the, the awareness that they were building with their own peers, right? What, what, mm -hmm. what else? was it that uh, led this group to kind of be number one and came out on top? Yeah, we, well we picked this group because we thought it was the most engaging that they had a plan that would really get interaction from other people with signing the pledges and having them come up to the table and be involved. We thought that it was creative, something that we didn't necessarily see everywhere before and that they were giving a lot of really good information which a lot of the other schools that submitted met those criteria too, but this one just met all of them t collectively the best, whereas some of the other ones maybe were more stronger with one end of it but not the other. And you're right, because when we were examining all the, the entries, mm -hmm. um, what, what you ladies had done really uh, addressed all of the issues that we were looking for on this competition because you know a, a lot of students had great ideas and they did things like videos and displays but y you guys went a, one, one step further and actually created engagement because the engagement is going to create far more awareness than than just something that's there for people to look at so so Charnay why, why did you do this why did you spend the time in doing this kind of project um. We felt that it was important for teenagers to realize that it's not just adults that suffer from domestic violence, and we felt that it was underlooked. People didn't really realize that teens do go through domestic violence in their relationships, and we just wanted everyone, including teachers and peers and parents and friends in the community, to realize that it's a problem and that we need to do something about it. How about you, Jamie? Um, probably the same thing. Uh, we know a lot of teens that have suffered from domestic you do. violence. Yeah, a lot of relationships in the school and throughout the town. So we thought it'd be better like, to address it more. So uh, what, was the, what was the engagement like? What was, now, any time that you do projects with 
with with teenagers sometimes you do have a batch of them who think it's kind of a silly and goofy thing and they don't really support it what kind of support did you see when you when you did this because um, the folks watching the show are watching some clips from some of your engagement where you had the tables set up and you had the displays so what kind of ex what, what kind of uh, uh, activity or feedback did you get from your peers when you did this project a lot of the peers were um, very involved and were very interested in what we were doing so a lot of them participated in it more than we expected. Hmm. Now I noticed when there was activity at the table, what were they doing? They were um, s doing sign-ups. What was the specific thing you had them doing at the tables? Um, we had purple hands that were cut out and it said no excuse for abuse on them and they signed it with their name and it was like signing a pledge to not abuse the person that you're with or to voice the awareness and like get it out there and then with the hands they each put it on a mural and it formed a heart in the main corridor of our school. See, see that's what I liked about this because you had the individual participation but then when they pieced it all together it was a bigger thing and that was really awesome. So Annalisa at the Network Against Domestic Abuse would, uh, would you do this kind of thing again? Yeah, I would really like to do it again next year. I think that we got a lot of good results this year, but just if we did it again, we would probably have more people that already knew about it and have more of the details smoothed out to be able to offer it in a more clear and ready-to-go situation. So I think that it would be even more powerful doing it again where some people already would be prepared for it. So when the, when, the, it, when the challenge was issued and probably teachers brought it to you and said, look, we've got this, um, it, what was it like coming up with the creativity to create this stuff? Was it fun? Was it, uh, did it allow you to use your creativity? Well, my teacher told us about it and she assigned different groups in our class to work on it. So it was like a contest within the class of creativity. And then with that, then we submitted whichever one the class voted was the best idea to represent the school. And then that's what we sent to Annalisa. Oh, very cool. So would you, Jamie, would you, would you do this again? Yeah, and, and why? Why would you do it again? Because uh, it spread awareness better than I thought it would. So I'd like to spread it throughout the entire town instead of just the high school. <laughs> One small change in a school and we're already, it's growing out into the community, which is your mission, which is your secret <laughs> mission uh, to create and generate. But because you know what? Uh, it, it's so awesome. When, when teenagers can actually generate this, th their, their own peers are going to listen more than, than to us when we're doing this kind of Listen, I really appreciate you coming out and telling us about it, and uh, I look forward to seeing you compete again next year for the next <laughs> one. Thank you so much, Annalise, and I look forward to more competitions. Every parent of an infant or anyone planning to have children in the future should be here to see the next segment. Now, we're going to be discussing the next important concept of parenting in a child's first 12 months that can have a life-lasting effect on the individual. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs> 